hello everybody welcome back to my channel and today i am back with this video where i will be telling you how to estimate ails from the x-ray of bones so you know, this is a really important topic in forensic medicine and for sure for sure you'll be asked question from here so today i'm starting from femur okay then we will go to all kinds of bone and i also would like to tell you that you have to give your full concentration and as well as you have to mark up some small small points so that you can easily identify the age of the bones now let's get started so in the beginning i would just like to give you a brief intro about the bone okay just what it is and etc i think you all know obviously you have already studied it in your basic uh, basic science so bone uh, is a skeletal framework okay and it has to provide a uh, support to our body okay the muscles get attached to it the knobs they pass through it so it has a lot of functions and it consists of three parts epiphysis diaphysis okay and metaphysis so diaphysis is this is this, this part which goes from both two um, end two ends of the bone it is epiphysis and between that end the connecting part is diaphysis and between the epiphysis and diaphysis there is a plate which is a growth plate called as metaphysis so when there is a plate we would call as metaphysial plate and when it has it gets fused together we just will cause as the um, epiphysial line okay and one thing that you have to understand is okay let me show you next picture so here okay so the thing is that uh, the bone on in the epiphysial part it is a spongy where it is compact in the diaphysis and there is the medullary cavity okay where there is our bone marrow so this is just a brief intro and the next thing that i want you to know will be this so ossification is the bone remodeling in which the process of laying down new bone material by cells named osteoblast occurs. So it means the formation of bone and formation of bone starts from 7th or 6th week of interembryonic life. Okay. And two pathways are there which are intramembranous and endochondral. If from intramembranous we get the cranial vault, face, clavicle, scapula whereas all other kinds of bone they go endochondral ossification. And for ossification, okay, that means the position of bone, there must be centers. Okay, there must be something that will have it that works for it in the bone, and these centers are called as the ossification center. So initially, when you are in the womb, the primary ossification centers lies in diaphysis. Okay, from where the bone growth starts. Okay, the deposition of bone matrix ossification starts. But once you come out of the womb, okay, after you bought all this primary ossification center, now for the development there. Now uh, we will have the secondary ossification center. The role of primary ossification center ends after you get birth. The role of secondary ossification center starts. They start to form after the birth. Okay, that's why they are called secondary. So after the birth, the secondary ossification centers forms in bone. They may vary in number in different bones, and they helps in growth and development of the bone. So secondary ossification center mostly occurs after birth, but except in distal femur and proximal tibia, it occurs during nine months of the fetal development. Okay, and the first bone to ossify is clavicle. So now here comes the main part. Okay, so please put a full concentration here and listen to me carefully. And if you want, just make the note also. So upper end of femur has three ossification center, and lower end of femur has only one ossification center. Okay, and this ossification center they come in upper end of femur which or those ossification center are this in head the greater trochanter and the lesser trochanter and they come when it's when uh, when the child is one year old in greater trochanter it's four year old lesser trochanter when the child is 14 years of old okay 14 years of age whereas the lower end of femur as i said earlier already formed before birth during the ninth birth so it is already there but it gets fused when 18 when the child reaches 18 to 19 years of age whereas the upper end of femur all the three ossification centers diffuse when the child reaches 17 to 18 years of age okay once again let me tell you there are three ossification center in head greater trochanter lesser trochanter they come when the child is one year old four year olds and 14 years old one four 40 but in lower end of the femur it forms before the birth okay and it gets fused at 18 to 19 years of age whereas in upper part it gets fused by 17 to 18 years of age so after you have understood this you just keep this in your mind and now whatever the diagrams whatever the x-rays i'll be showing you you have to understand we have to keep this point on them you have to apply this point on them and try to guess the age of that child okay let me show you the first x-ray so this is the first x-ray okay 
now first of all i want you all to interpret it yourself okay do some brainstorming and just try to know what kind of okay uh, what what is the what kind what could be the age of this um person okay what can you see okay can you see the head can you see the greater trochanter can you see the lesser trochanter okay okay obviously there is no uh, the lower um, part of the femur so just now for, for now let's just focus on upper part so are they fused or not okay if they are fused that means the child is uh, 17 to 18 years old if they are not fused that means since there is already development of local trochanter that the child means of child must be age of 14 to 17 years of age did you think the same way or not yes that's the correct way so here is the mature person femur x-ray and you can see that there is development of all the three ossification centers and they have completely fused okay so for now we can say the person is above 18 years of age from 17 to 18 years of age okay exactly as we will tell only after you know looking at all the bony structures okay like pelvis humerus wrist bones and everything but for now we will just uh, estimate by looking at the femur now let's look at this x-ray what do you think the age of that this person might be okay you know <clears throat> i can see what can you see here and what can't you see here if you ask to me okay i can tell that i can see the head of the femur but i can see greater trochanter and lesser trochanter and i can't see okay i already can see the distal part but they are not fused okay the distal secondary ossification center is already formed but i can't see both of them fusing together okay so now let's just apply whatever we have studied so we can just see the head that means the child is one year old there is the under the distal portion also there distal ossification center also there so that means okay the child it clearly confirms the child is one year old obviously it is present since birth but it hasn't fused and there are no greater and to canter that means the child must be just you know like to one to four why one to four because there is no greater trochanter only there is no development of greater trochanter which is the second uh, secondary ossification center of that femur and it develops when a child is four years of old if the child had reached four had reached four years age you will already have developed this but since there is no development of that that means we can guess the age is around one to four years of age okay so let's see this one what can you see is this head there is greater trochanter also there is lesser trochanter also that means the trochanter it comes when the child is one years old and the head comes when the child is one years old greater trochanter comes when the child is four years old and lesser trochanter comes when the child is 14 years old that means the child has reached 14 years of age now when the all of them fuses together the child age should be around 17 to 18 years since i can see everything properly fused there is no gap at all okay there's no gap at all gap at all i think it is properly fused so child must be 17 to 18 years of age okay it's for sure okay the child already is 17 to 18 years of age now if you look at other factors that is we have to leave the distal femur also if we see the distal femur also being uh, you know fused we could have said the child is from 18 to 19 years of age but in this picture there is no like a picture of distal femur x-ray so now what what do you think the age of child is please do your brainstorming okay properly apply all the techniques first thing is how many ossification centers have developed in the distal part? I'm in the proximal part. I'm not talking about the distal part. Okay, so in the proximal part, I can see three ossification centers getting developed. Okay, so if three ossification centers have developed, that means the child has reached 14 years of age. One, four, one, four, and fourteen. Now I will check whether they have been fused or not. I can clearly see that they are not fused. See here, there is a gap. Okay, you can see like this is something getting fused but it just looks like that in all the x-ray but it's not fused actually here also i can see a gap i can't see completely fused. it looks like it is fused but still i can see some gap you know it just should be properly aligned so since this or everything they have not fused properly every bone must be fused till uh, to reach 17 to 18 years of age so i think since the place trochanter has developed 14 but there's no complete fusion so 14 to 17 years of age or 14 to 18 years of age you will have been above 18 if everything has fused i know but since not everything not every um, observation center has fused so age will be 14 to 17. let's see this one also you know here what will be the age so if you look everything all the three observation centers has come they have fused also properly that means up from 18 to 19 years means it has already got 17 uh, fused properly means that is already 17 to 18 years now we have to look other parts to know 
okay the is so here if you look at this picture you can clearly see that all the three centers have gone but they have not fused so okay the child is 17 to 18 years of age looking at the distal femur okay i'm just talking about distal femur right now what do you think the age of the child is by looking at this picture so let's look at it carefully i can see their head has formed i can see that the trochanter also has formed slightly but i can't see lesser trochanter so much you know this is kind of like a sad is there but i don't think it's a lesser trochanter okay it's a little prominent a little bit peak and even the either trochanter is not so prominent that means they are just in development phase and none of them they have fused okay so that means the child must be one year old and four years old the age must be four to from four years above above four years of age because one year completed he got this part also that means he reached four years of age but if granitocanter had come then it will be like four to fourteen but uh, fourteen years of age but since it has not come properly so it's four to fourteen years of age okay he is still in four to fourteen years of age we can say like that because this is just a sad okay it's not the uh, lesser trochanter uh, and uh, now tell me the age of this child by looking at this picture so this is your final question and if you are able to answer i'll consider that i was successful in teaching you all about how to estimate the age so what do you see in this picture is first of all you have to see the three ossification centers are there or not and i think you could not see the one ossification center that is the lesser trochanter we can't see it here we just can see the head and the lesser trochanter okay so and they have one fused so uh, not having lesser trochanter and since there is a secreted trochanter has formed that means child has been one year old four year old and the age of the child must be somewhere between 14 to four years of age because lesser trochanter comes at the 14 years of age i know and so what do you think the age of the child is the age of the child is from four years old to 14 years of age because if the child had already reached above 14 that means there should have been lesser trochanter but if it's not formed that means child has still not reached 14 years of age so for two 14 years of age this is the age gap for this person we will become more concise okay and we will be, we will just have a very small age gap once we will look at other bones also but since we are look just looking at the proximal part so that's why we are having such a big gap in the age of the person in age estimation so this also this one picture so please write down your answer in the comment section i'll check it and i will correct it if you are wrong and uh, yes so this is like your test so look at this carefully and please write the answer below okay what is the age of this child look at everything properly and give me the answer write down in the comment section so now look at this picture okay this x-ray and this x-ray so what do you see the difference okay look carefully this x-ray okay what is the here what is the thing that you find different from this one okay if you will ask me i will tell that there is fusion of the digital epiphysis of the femur okay they have completely fused that means if digital epiphysis is fused in femur that means the portion has already reached 18 to 19 years of age but but in this picture in this x-ray you can see that they have not fused there is a gap that means the child has not reached 18 or 19 years of age okay this is very easy to identify and very easy to see that's why i was not focusing so much on the distal part of femur just you have to check whether it has fused or not its formation occurs just before the birth only so if it gets fused then definitely the child is um 18 to 19 years if not then you look at the other features in the femur to identify the age so that's it i hope that the question i have given you will write the answer about it and saying that much i would like to end this video the, this is the first part i have just explained about femur through the femur how can we identify the age we will again discuss an other topic also and i hope you have understood it please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you